today i am going to explain to you elaborately describe to you all about the, some mysterious dangerous unsolved location on our planet earth which are beyond the reach to describe even scientifically the causes and the disturbance deadly effect they create on us the term is used as wild vortex i repeat wild vortex and there are 12 wild vortex on our planet earth so let us begin with the definition of wild vortex what is the meaning of the term wild vortex and who invented them wild vortices are areas on earth surface which are naturally occurring anomalies due to the planet's natural electromagnetic fields electromagnetic fields being stronger and this parts in this parts than any other places elsewhere wild vortices are spread equally in 12 parts across the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn and includes the north pole and the south pole since each vortex is spread equally across the world surface the entire collection of the wild vortices are known as icosahedron icosahedron an icosahedron is a geometric figure which is a polyhedron poly means multiple and hedron means faces poly means multiple and hedron means faces comprising of 20 plane faces the wild vortices lies six wild vortices above the equator and six wild vortices below the equator now let's come to the point who invented the term who coined the term wild vortices who gave the name answer is ivan t sanderson i repeat ivan t sanderson who coined the name wild vortices a traveler who was a huge fan fan of paranormal born on january 30 1911 was a british biologist and writer born in edinburgh scotland along with belgian french biologist bernard huvel huvelmans sanderson was a founding figure of cryptozoology a pseudoscience and subculture sanderson authored material on paranormal subjects and wrote fictions under the pen name terence roberts terence roberts in 1968 sanderson introduced the term concept of the wild vortex which as said earlier are anomalic regions regularly distributed on earth where disproportionately many strange things occurs like disappearances of ships ufo sightings and poltergeist activities poltergeist activities now let us discuss the names and the phenomena of the twelve wild vortices first in the list comes the bermuda triangle the bermuda triangle it is a region in the western part of the north atlantic ocean forming a triangle between florida bermuda and puerto rico second in the list is the easter island in polynesia where you can find 900 moai statues created by the papua nui tribal people each of them weighs about 90 tons third and fourth is the north pole and the south pole fifth in the list comes mohenjo-daro mohenjo-daro in karachi of the ancient indus valley civilization where you can find zero zero gravity ground ground zero for the distribution for the detonation of ancient nuclear weapons sixth in the list is the hamakuria volcano located in the ring of fire in eastern hawaii seven is the dragon triangle is the dragon triangle also known as the devil sea in japan south of japan also known as japan's atlantis eight is the warden warden basin warden basin in the indus indian ocean in the indian ocean with a great depths and largely unexplored ninth in the list is the algerian megaliths Algerian megaliths or the megalith ruin of Algeria located in the south of the city of Timbuktu Timbuktu in Sahara desert 10th in the list is the south atlantic south atlantic anomaly where natural radiation flows out of control in the innermost van allen radiation belts dips and extremely close to the earth surface 11th in the list is the megaliths of Zimbabwe the megaliths of Zimbabwe home to super massive stone structures located in sahara desert 
where mysterious name disappearances occurs. Twelve, the last in the list, are the loyal is the loyalty island. The loyalty island. In the next episode, I'm going to elaborate to describe each of the twelve vortices and their effect, their location, and each everything about them. So till then, have a nice day. Goodbye. Take care.